Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India session so we'll be we are looking into the some simplified versions of uh, osmotic pressure control filtration and we have looked into the first simplified case there is the no concentration polarization and we have looked into the system how the system can behave and can prediction can be obtained the second simplified case we'll be talking about is low polarization and low polarization can be realized by v w by k uh, exponential v w by k uh, is uh, of, uh, in, the, in the low polarization can be realized when v w by k is much much less than 1. That means, again in this case turbulence is quite high. So, the mass transfer coefficient is so Reynolds number will be quite high very high and therefore, the mass transfer coefficient will be high compared to the permeate flux. So, v w by k will be much much less than 1 and that will uh, allow us to have an exponential um, uh, expansion of e to the power v w by k as 1 plus v w by k plus v w by k square of that 1 over factorial 2 here plus, uh, uh, plus other higher order terms. We neglect the since v w by k itself is less than le much much less than 1 v w by k square and the higher order terms will be neglected and this can be approximated as 1 plus v w by k. Now, what we will be doing next? We will be doing, we uh, will be writing the uh, you know uh, film theory. The film theory if you remember this is C m minus C p divided by C naught minus C p e to the power v w by k and this will be replaced by 1 plus v w by k. So, this is a simplified version of the film theory and then we will be writing C p as C m into 1 minus real retention and then we will be writing the uh, osmotic pressure model as V w is equal to L p del p minus del pi and we have seen earlier how del pi can be replaced in terms of real retention and membrane surface concentration C m. Now, combining these three equation we will be getting a simplified version as V w is equal to L p del p minus b r r c naught 1 plus v w by k divided by r r plus 1 minus r r into 1 plus v w by k. Now, in this case what you will be ultimately getting? So, ultimately you will be getting a quadratic in V w. So, all the other quantities are known to us L p is membrane permeability, del p is the transmembrane pressure drop, b is the osmotic coefficient known to us, r r is real retention known to us, c naught is the feed concentration k is the mass transfer coefficient that will be that we can calculate and we have seen how to calculate the mass transfer coefficient. So, we can calculate the v w and from the v w one can uh, uh, est estimate the uh, uh, so one can di directly get the expression of C m because C m minus C p divided by C naught minus C p can be expressed. So, v w can be ca calculated independently let us see now how uh, C m will be calculated, C p will be calculated. So, if you look into the osmotic uh, you know um, uh, you know uh, expression of film theory C m minus C p divided by C naught minus C p is equal to 1 plus V w by k. We have already got an explicit expression in quadratic form of V w. So, therefore, uh, this C m can minus C p can be replaced in terms of uh, uh, C m. So, this will be nothing but C m times R r because from the definition of real retention 1 minus C p by C m. So, C m minus C p is nothing but C m times R r 
and C naught will be nothing C p will be uh, in the denominator C p can be replaced C m into 1 minus R r is equal to 1 plus V w by k. So, just rearrange C m. So, this becomes C m R r is equal to 1 plus V w by k times C naught minus 1 minus R r 1 plus V w by k times C m. So, C m will be R r plus 1 minus R r 1 plus V w by k and here it will be 1 plus V w by k times C naught or one can estimate the value of C m as 1 plus V w by k times C naught divided by the denominator R r plus 1 minus R r into 1 plus V w by k. So, V w we have estimated already as a quadratic in the in the uh, only few minutes back and k is known to us, C naught is known to us, R r is known to us and one can estimate the value of C m. Once the C m is estimated, then permeate concentration can be estimated as well through the definition of real retention. So, we can have an independent system prediction in terms of so, you know um, uh, permeate concentration and permeate flux for a low polarization case. When the polarization is not low, whether when it is significant, we have already seen that we will be we will be we have to solve two equations and th and two unknown three equations and three unknown system by using Newton Raphson. But after combining all the equations, we will be getting we will be landing up with uh, with a single nonlinear algebraic equation which will be solved iteratively by using the Newton Raphson method. So, we will be doing another simplification, so that the things will be physically quite significant and apparent to us. The third simplified case will be the low polarization and completely retentive membrane. Low polarization that is V w by k is much much less than 1 and completely retentive membrane that means, C p is equal to 0. C p equal to 0. So, in this case permeate flux will be L p del p minus del pi, del pi will be p C naught b C m minus C p and C p will be, will be equal to 0. So, you will be having L p del p minus b C m and from the De, from the film theory, what you will be getting? From film theory, you will be getting C m by C naught, because all C p s are 0, it is a completely retentive membrane, exponential V w by k, so it will be 1 plus V w by k. So, you will be getting permeate flux is equal to L p del p minus B C naught 1 plus V w by k. Now, if you bring V w to the other side and write everything in terms of that, so you will be getting L p del p minus B C naught divided by 1 plus uh, B C naught divided by into L p divided by mass transfer coefficient k and now if I replace L p the membrane permeability in terms of membrane hydraulic resistance R m, then I will be getting a concrete expression of permeate flux as delta p minus B c naught is equal to mu R m plus B c naught divided by k. So, this expression clearly shows that this is the effective driving force that is the actual the transmembrane pressure drop applied transmembrane pressure drop minus osmotic pressure divided by there will be two resistances in series one is membrane hydraulic resistance and is the resistance due to the mass transfer in the mass transfer boundary layer. So, two resistances in series that will be appearing in the denominator and on the numerator you will be having the effective transmembrane pressure drop which will be nothing but the 
uh, actual transmembrane pressure drop minus the osmotic pressure that is developed into the system. So, this clearly shows that mass transfer resistance and membrane resistance they will be acting in series in an actual system. Okay. So, before going into the other variants of solution diffusion model, I would like to uh, now in the at, at this point of time, I would like to include or introduce um, uh, velocity variation technique or one more technique the if, if you remember in an earlier class, we have said that there are two ways or two experimental methods to estimate the real retention of the system. Now, we will be really looking into how to um, go, uh, we have seen one method already how to conduct a separate set of experiments. So, that the real retention of the system can be estimated by under low polarization condition that is low operating pressure, low feed concentration, high turbulence. Now, in, in this um, uh, we will be looking into one more method to estimate the velocity variation technique, um, which will be you will be utilizing the film theory model to estimate the real retention of the membrane. technique to estimate RR of membrane solute solvent system. So, we take recourse to the film theory model and its equation. So, C m minus C p divided by C naught minus C p is equal to exponential V w by k. Now, next what we will be doing, we will be writing the definition of real retention and observed retention. So, real retention is 1 minus C p by C m. So, C m can be uh, can be written as um, so, C p by C m will be 1 minus R r, C m by C p will be 1 over 1 minus R r. So, therefore, C m is nothing but C p divided by 1 minus R r. Similarly, from the definition of observed retention R naught is 1 minus C p by C naught and we can estimate the value of uh, C naught in terms of C p. So, C naught will be nothing but C p divided by 1 minus R naught. So, now we are going to replace the expression of the, the ex, uh, C m in favor of C p and R r and C naught in favor of C p and R naught in this equation and see what we get. So, if we really do that, we will be getting C p 1 minus C p divided by 1 minus R r minus C p is equal to uh, C p divided by 1 minus R naught minus C p exponential V w by k. So, this can be, so C p will be cancelling out from, uh, from, from both the numerator and denominator and you will be getting an expression of observed retention and real retention and permeate flux and mass transfer coefficient. If we simplify this equation, I am just writing the final form ln r naught divided by 1 minus r naught is equal to ln r r by 1 minus r r minus v w by k. Now, in this expression, uh, uh, we if, if we, we have the real retention as constant and um, uh, let us see how if we, if we change your operating conditions operating conditions means here we cannot change the operating conditions in terms of pressure, because the mass transfer coefficient is appearing here. And as we have already seen that mass transfer coefficient is a strong function of Reynolds number. And Reynolds number will be basically uh, will be a strong function of the cross flow velocity. So, this is this method is known as velocity variation technique. What we will be doing? We will be, we'll be applying different cross flow velocity in the system that will alter the mass transfer coefficient. Once the mass transfer coefficient will be altered, the permeate flux will be altered 
and once the permeate flux will be altered as well as the it will be affecting the permeate quality. So, observed retention because permeate concentration will also be altered. So, observed retention will be altered. So, that therefore, we change the cross flow velocity and get different type different values of permeate uh, you know mass transfer coefficient and permeate flux and then we plot uh, ln r naught by 1 minus r naught versus v w by k. So, now if we plot ln r naught divided by 1 minus r naught versus v w by k, we will be getting a curve something like this. So, similarly actually this will not be hitting the y axis, the curve will be something like this and similarly it will be for the other other values of you know uh, uh, mass transfer coefficient will be uh, will be getting this. So, ultimately all these points will be will be going to the intercept r naught by 1 minus r naught. So, this is for a particular k, this that is for another particular k. So, we will be getting the uh, 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 from the intercept, what is the intercept? The intercept is ln r r by 1 minus r r. So, from the intercept one can estimate the value of real retention. So, r r can be estimated. So, what is the drawback of this system? The major drawback of this system is that the experiments should be very, very accurate. If there is slight inaccuracy in the in the experiments, then in the log scale this will be even magnified and therefore, that will be giving a very wrong estimation. So, exp there, there will be number of more number of experiments one has to conduct, but the, not only that, not only the more number of experiments, the experiments has to be very, very accurate. Then only one can get an estimation of real retention, uh, appropriate estimation of real retention by this velocity variation method. Okay. So, next we will be looking into as we have discussed that the third equation for the if then let us look into once again the modeling or equation for the osmotic pressure control filtration one dimensional model. So, we have have the film theory V w is equal to k ln C m minus C naught C p minus C naught we have the Darcy's law v w is equal to l p del p minus del pi and we have two equations two unknown c m c p v w these are the three unknown and two equations the other equation is the connection between the c m and c p. C m and c p and we have already seen that uh, one way of connecting C m and C p is the real retention that is nothing but a partition coefficient between uh, across the membrane of the solute partition coefficient across the membrane. Now, what we have already seen the all the formulations and the method for solving this third equation to get a system uh, prediction of the system performance. Now, we are what we will be doing? We will be doing, we will be replacing the uh, 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 the expression of real retention that will be valid more valid for the ultrafiltration system and uh, various cutoff for ultrafiltration system by the solution diffusion model uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, for the for the reverse osmosis and nanofiltration system. So, uh, real retention is a concept which will be more valid for the ultrafiltration system, but for the uh, reverse osmosis and nanofiltration will not we will not be able to use the uh, expression of real retention as uh, as a partition coefficient 1 minus C p by C m. We have to use the other variants of the uh, connection between the C p and C m that is the solution diffusion model and its various variations uh, on or modifications. So, first we will be talking about the, uh, the uh, solution diffusion model for reverse osmosis and nanofiltration system. for RONF system. So, now let us look into the what are the various governing equations. So, one equation will be the um, uh, film theory is V w is equal to k l n C m minus uh, C p. So, this is wrong C p C naught minus C p C m minus C p 
divided by C naught minus C p. The other one is the uh, Darcy's law, which is nothing but the solvent flux through the membrane V w is equal to L p del p minus del pi and the third one is the uh, solute flux through the membrane that is the solution diffusion model. So, these will be giving you the solvent flux through the uh, mass transfer boundary layer, solvent flux through the porous membrane and the solute flux through the porous membrane V w C p is equal to B C m minus C p. So, we will be having three equations and three unknowns V w C m and C p and can get the system prediction. So, I will just give a you know a small uh, algebraic manipulation in order to solve this set of equations. So, V w can be the, the uh, solvent flux through the membrane can be written as V w uh, is equal to L p del p minus del pi. So, this will be if you take L p out L p del p out. So, it will be giving 1 minus del pi and del pi is uh, let us say pi is equal to A c. So, uh, uh, del pi will be basically uh, A by delta p C m minus C p. So, I write V w is equal to V w naught 1 minus alpha C m minus C p. So, this is my equation number 1 and what is V w naught? V w naught is basically L p times del p, it is a pure water flask, pure water flux and what is the parameter alpha, alpha. So, this will be V w naught will be will be known to us, because L p is known to us and delta p is the transmembrane pressure drop. So, what is alpha? Alpha is the parameter A by delta p. So, it is non dimensional. So, that will be equation number 1, then we will be equating this with the film theory equation. So, V w naught 1 minus alpha C m minus C p will be equal to k L n C m minus C p divided by C naught minus C p. So, this will be the combination of uh, the film theory and the, um, uh, and the osmotic pressure model Darcy's law. So, I write it at equation number 2 then we will be having the solution diffusion model for the solute flux through membrane that will be V w C p is equal to B C m minus C p. So, now we can combine uh, these two equations and finally, we will be getting into this. So, we can we can we can com oh, okay. we, we will be combining the equation number 3 solution diffusion model and uh, Darcy's law that is equation 1. We can combine these two equation and see what we get. If you combine these two equation, you will be getting uh, V w naught 1 minus alpha C m minus C p is equal to B C m minus C p divided by C p. So, this equation can be written in this form 1 minus alpha times C m plus alpha times C p is equal to beta C m minus C p divided by C p, where alpha we have already defined and beta is B by V w naught. Okay. So, from this equation the membrane surface concentration is obtained in terms of permeate concentration. So, from this we can get C m membrane surface concentration as a function of permeate concentration C p into 1 plus 1 plus beta plus alpha C p. Now, this expression of C m can be put into uh, the, uh, the the equation that we have already talked about equation number 2. We are going to put the value of C m that we are obtained in the in this equation. 
equation number 2, if you really do that, put into equation number 2, you will be getting one nonlinear algebraic equation in the form of, I will be giving the final expression beta v w naught alpha C p plus beta minus k ln C p divided by alpha C p plus beta into C naught minus C p is equal to 0. Again, this expression is nothing but a nonlinear algebraic equation in C p and again one has to take care go 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 by a Newton Raphson method iteratively. So, one has to have an iterative solution, iterative solution of C p and the method can be used as Newton Raphson method. Once you get the uh, value of C p, you will be getting the value of C m. C p is equal, uh, you will be getting, you will be getting because um, you know, from, from, the, from this equation, you will be getting the value of C m, because C p you have already estimated. Once you know the value of C p and C m, then one can uh, go through the film theory equation and can get the par expression of permeate flux. So, again in this method also, we, we, have, we can land up with three equations. Only difference is the definition of real retention, which basically acts as a partition coefficient between the uh, membrane surface concentration, solute concentration in the membrane surface and in the permeate will be replaced by the solution diffusion equation, which is basically nothing but the solute uh, uh, transport equation for the solute flux through the membrane. And then uh, again, these three equations can be solved and can be recast in the form of a single equation, which will be algebraic nonlinear equation and that can be solved by using an iterative method and by that one can get the permeate concentration, membrane surface concentration and permeate flux ultimately. So, I will stop here in this class. In the next class or next session, we will be looking into the other variants of solution diffusion model and how to use this solution diffusion model, the um, uh, where, where there will be the, uh, there will be a modifications in it in order to get the system prediction perfectly. Thank you very much.